and Cricket, Crick Info, and I'm with George DeBell to talk about the Danish Canaria affair. George, can you please explain the developments uh, today? Sure. sure. Well, the, the context is that uh, Danish Canario was banned for life uh, after an ECB disciplinary hearing in the middle of last year. Uh, he's appealing. Now, his appeal has been delayed uh, several times. Originally, they wanted to hear it in December, but the ECB couldn't get Mervyn Westfield, who was uh, the man who made the key evidence against him, uh, to come to the appeal hearing. What has happened today is that uh, it's emerged that the ECB have persuaded the High Court in London to issue a summons demanding that Westfield turns up at the appeal hearing, which is on April the 22nd, uh, which means that as they stand, we are expecting him to uh, repeat his evidence in the original hearing. So without the High Court judgment, do you think that the... Uh the, the whole Canaria affair was stuck and it was going nowhere and, and, and this is what this uh, inquiry into match fixing needed. That They needed the High Court to get involved. I don't know. I mean, certainly Canaria's side, his lawyers, uh, feel very strongly that without Westfield's evidence, the ECB don't have a case against Canaria. And Canaria is keen. I mean, he's 32 years old. He's the fourth highest wicket maker in Pakistan test history. He's keen not just to resurrect his career, but to sue for what they are saying are very substantial damages. Uh, and without Westfield's evidence, which is absolutely key, it would have been pretty hard for any conviction to stick. So it, it is pretty important. Now, we don't know, I think it's important to say, uh, whether the High Court has jurisdiction in this in this case, because this isn't really a judicial case. This is a... Uh, a sport governing bodies, internal disciplinary procedure. So it's quite unusual for a high court to get involved. Uh, and I understand that uh, good areas, uh, Westfield lawyers rather, uh, may well argue that um, the high court has no jurisdiction in this case. Now, Mervyn Westfield didn't appear originally in, in the uh, case, and he's, uh, he's reluctant to appear uh, again, it seems. Um, uh, to um, give evidence to the ECB. What, what do you think explains Mervyn Westfield's uh, reluctance to, uh, to, to make his case publicly? Mervyn Westfield's angry. He, he feels uh, alienated and scapegoated by the ECB and, crucially, the PCA. He, he feels that he gave evidence uh, um, to uh, help convict uh, Canaria, and in return for that, he gained no credit. Uh, he was sentenced to a four-month prison sentence. I don't think he served that, but he did, get, he did do time in prison. And he was also banned from the professional game for five years. I think he could return to club cricket after three years. But the, the harshness of the penalty is such that it's completely alien. And he hasn't been given any encouragement to play ball. So basically, he enormously angry and disappointed and feels that he's been sold out by the game. Whether he's right or not, it's not really for us to say, but that's how he feels. So where do you think this leaves cricket and where do you think this leaves uh, the whole uh, match-fixing fi match allegations against uh, Danish Canaria and, and indeed against Mervyn Westfield? Well, I think it would be really imprudent uh, to uh, speculate on that at this stage, but I think it's better to say the stakes are very high. Uh, if Canaria wins his appeal, he is going to expect to play again. As I say, he's only 32 years old. He is going to serve the damages. Uh, that would be embarrassing and, of course, costly in every way for the ECB. Uh, Canaria's side say that they welcome Westfield evidence. They say that it's crucial he's there uh, so that they cross-examine him. Now, they, they say that, and they look you in the eye and say that. You would think that it suited them much better for, for Westfield not to turn up, because you would think it compromised the ECP case really quite substantially. So I, I have no idea how this is going to play out in the coming weeks and months, but it's going to be very interesting indeed. I was going to ask you to predict an outcome, but I think you've just told me uh, you're not going to. I'm not going to, no. Well, um, thank you very much. Uh, this is David Hopps for ESPN Crick Info, and I've been talking to George DeBell, senior cricket correspondent uh, on the Danish Canaria 
Mervyn Westfield affair, I'm sure there'll be a, a lot more to come.